that dishonesty wise, whereas Kim feels positive and invigorated by her wolfishness. Kim is not stuck between a rock and a hard place. She's put herself in that hard place intentionally. Also, Skylar's gone to that hard place explicitly to try to right the wrongs of Walter, to try to mitigate the fallout and negative consequences of his actions. Something tells me. And the episode ends here with his silence as she walks away. This brings us conveniently to our next topic, the theme of forgetting and moving on. Both Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad explore how differently people can go about the process of moving on, and the shows demonstrate many pros and cons of alternative approaches to moving on from events in our lives. When we watch these shows, we're made to reflect on the challenges we can sometimes create for ourselves when we try to force ourselves to move on in unnatural or unhealthy ways. In the Better Call Saul video series, we talked about so many different takes on this theme. For example, we saw Jimmy and Howard's different ways of processing Chuck's death. Howard going to therapy, apologizing to Jimmy for hurting Chuck and arguably taking too much responsibility. And Jimmy not taking the slightest bit of responsibility for hurting Chuck, definitely not going to therapy, and above all, not letting himself feel feelings about it until the very last episode. Jimmy really took blocking out feelings to the next level. I don't miss Chuck. Chuck was alive and now he's dead and that's that. Finito. Life goes on. So sue me. Kim could match him and surpass him some Sometimes, but as we see in their breakup and her turning herself in, obviously she was more in touch with feelings like guilt, shame, regret, and so on 